brought on after a blood test convinced there was still a needle in her arm. This distressing episode didn't end quickly. It lasted for 10 hours. For Avalie Gillette, flare-ups like this were a daily occurrence. When she was nine, she had a stomach bug, but within 24 hours of becoming unwell, she suddenly developed extreme OCD. She woke up the next morning just consumed completely. So she'd touch the door to open it and she would be there for two or three hours, um, having to keep on touching different parts of it and sometimes literally climbing the walls because she had to touch higher and higher. And there's this voice inside which she can't get away and it's there for hours and hours and if you try and go away it makes you panic and it's just really awful and I can't describe it it's just really sad and upsetting mm. <laughs> Avalie's GP referred her to child mental health services but while waiting to be seen her symptoms got worse she started also having delusions as well where she would see um, generally it was things like spiders, so she, she would see them around the house, she would see them on her. We had a few situations where she felt, she thought she was absolutely covered and so she spent about two, three hours clawing at her skin. She started self-harming, um, so she would have intrusive thoughts. We're driving down the road, she would jump out, try and jump out the car and uh, she became suicidal, didn't want to live anymore. Um, if life was going to be like that, um, she would beg me every night, make it so I don't wake up. Yeah, it was very tough times. Um, Avalie was almost sectioned until her mum learned about a condition affecting children called PANS and PANDAS. PANS is an acronym for Paediatric Acute Onset Neuropsychiatric Syndrome, which is associated with a variety of different infections whereas PANDAS is a disorder associated with only streptococcal infection. Both can result in a sudden onset of obsessive compulsive disorder, motor tics, restricting food and severe anxiety. But despite these symptoms and the fact that some patients have had good results from being treated with antibiotics and ibuprofen, PANS PANDAS is still not recognised by the NHS. I wouldn't be surprised if PANS PANDAS is not actually touched upon in many medical schools. There is a reluctance to accept that such a condition may exist because we haven't been able to find a, a, a biomarker, a test which actually confirms the diagnosis. I think it goes against the grain for a lot of GPs to make a diagnosis which you cannot prove with an investigation um, and then actually give antibiotics um, when you can't necessarily find an evidence of infection. After months of battling with her illness, Avalie Gillette was formally diagnosed as having PANS by a neurologist and immunologist. Within days of being given antibiotics, the extreme symptoms she'd been experiencing subsided. Yeah, I, I could be myself again. I, I knew how to play with my friends again. I could get into classes. I wasn't missing out on my life, which was great. So, yeah. Campaigners are fighting to get better awareness of PANS and PANDAS across the board. They've even been discussing it in Parliament. More understanding could help children receive treatment faster so they can rebuild their lives. Catherine Nash, Five News.